So welcome to Techno Dad Life and my name is Jeff and so today what we're going to do is go over how to pick out an access point. And why I'm doing this is that I saw online in a forum that this person said this access point was better because it had Wi-Fi 6 and it's cheaper. But there are actually a whole lot of different things going into an access point and we'll go over that right now. So a couple of different definitions here before we get started. So we have to know what an access point is. And so an access point is something that is plugged in directly into the router and it has Wi-Fi. A repeater is something that extends your Wi-Fi signal without a cable. Some routers can be changed into repeaters and you can plug them in. Now this one is confusing because it's a repeater but it has a plug on the bottom where you can plug in a wireless device. So if we look at the prices, so extenders are super cheap so that way you know it's not an access point. So next we have to look at all the different terms that are used to describe access points to actually find out what they actually do. So let's take a look at one. So if we take a look at this Unify 6 access point, we can see it says 2x2 high efficiency Wi-Fi, 5 gigahertz 2x2 Mumo at 1.2 gigahertz, 2.4 gigahertz at 300 megabytes per second, and gigabit powered by AFPOE. So what do all those different things mean? So basically when access points are described, uh, they usually use a couple different things. So they'll either say it's a AC or ACX. ACX means it is Wi-Fi 6. AC means Wi-Fi 5 or uh, basically the slower one. Uh, ACX and AC are both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. And AC has a maximum of 1.3 gigahertz and ACX has a maximum of 10, point, or 10 to 12 gigahertz. If we look at the Unify 6 one, we can see the maximum radio rate on 2.4 is 300 and on 5 gigahertz it's 1.2. And you can see they're basically using the AC standard uh, with Wi-Fi 6. So it's not a very high powered access point. Now another common term we'll see is dual band. And so dual band just means 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. So dual band just means it uses the N, AC, or AX standard. So I would just assume that most access points do, but you can never assume, as you know, uh, because the N standard was implemented in 2009, which is over 11 years ago. Now, in some access points, they'll give you a bandwidth number. And so what does that mean? So if it says AC 1200 router, what that shows is the maximum combined wireless speed together. And that's why you'll see some strange numbers when you look at access points where it will say 300, 500, and then it will say it's a AC 800 router. But you just have to ignore that and look at each 2.4 and 5 gigahertz and see what the actual bandwidth is on each one because some are more and some are less. Next thing you'll see is uh, it will say your access point has MooMimo and it will have things like 2x2, two 3x3, two, three three, and 4x4. Four four. And so basically all that means is they're either two channels, three channels, or four channels. Generally the more channels the better. If we go back to the Unify access point, let's see how many channels it has. So in this access point it just has two channels. So next we have Wi-Fi 6, and so most uh, access points either say Wi-Fi 6 or it will say AX some number. And so the difference with Wi-Fi 6 is, is it will take those Moo Mimo channels, which we uh, either have two of, three of, or four of, and actually subdivide it even more so you can get many more devices on the same network. Which is good if you have a lot of Internet Things devices in your house. Now, most all access points are PoE devices, which means power over Ethernet, or they get their power through the cable, which is not plugged into a wall, but it's plugged into your router. So you have to make sure you have a router that is active PoE, 
Uh, where you can get in trouble is some of the Microtech routers are passive PoE, which means they don't auto-negotiate. And how you know they auto-negotiate is it will say AF or AT. So let's take a look at that. Now if we look at this Microtech switch, we can see it's a PoE switch. It even says it in the title there. But if we look in the description, it says that it can power devices with the same voltage as applied to the unit passive PoE over data lines only. Basically, you need to match the voltage of the switch to the access point. So most people will want to avoid that and just get a active PoE, which is an AF or AT, and then it will auto-negotiate, and then you never have to worry about that. So next we have the difference between smart access points and dumb access points. And so smart access points can do DNS filtering and right there on the router and something like the instant on does that whereas most access points are dumb in that they get all their smarts through other devices such as your switch or your router which do the routing for the access point so let's take a look at two access points and see why they're at such different price points so here we have the unify six light access point and the TP-Link EAP660HD. Now, so they're both Wi-Fi 6 capable. And so let's take a look at the different specs here. So this one has gigabit Ethernet. This one has 2.5 gigabit Ethernet. If we look at bandwidth, or actually if we just look at the radios, we have 2.4 and it's 2 times 2. We have 2.4 and it's 4 times 4. And so that means the TP-Link will be able to handle a lot more devices. 5 gigahertz, we have the same thing. So it's 2.2 and then 5 gigahertz, it's 4. Point, basically, it's 4 by 4, but 4 times 5. If we look at the radios, if we look at the 5 gigahertz band, the Unify is at 1.2 megabytes per second. And at 2.4 gigahertz, it's at 300 megabytes per second. Now, if we look at the TP link, it's at 2400 on 5 gigahertz and about 1200 on 2.4 gigahertz. So that means that the TP link is twice as fast on 5 gigahertz and then four times as fast on 2.4 gigahertz, and it can handle twice as many clients. So where things get interesting is if we look at two products from the same company, one is Wi-Fi 5 and one is Wi-Fi 6. So here we have the Aruba Instanon AP15 and the Aruba Instanon AP22. Now the 22 is a Wi-Fi 6 access point and the 15 is a Wi-Fi 5 access point. But this is where things may not be apples to apples and oranges to oranges. So if we look at the AP15, it's a 4x4 and has bandwidth of 1733 for 5 gigahertz. But the Wi-Fi 6 one is a 2x2 two two and bandwidth is limited to 1.2 gigahertz. And so what that means, in most situations, the AP15 will be faster unless we get over a certain number of devices. So depending on what you're looking for, the AP15, which is the older technology, may be better because it actually has four channels and faster bandwidth, where the AP22, which is Wi-Fi 6, just has two channels, although those channels are divided up, but it's slightly slower. So there's a lot of different things to be aware of when you're looking at these different access points. Finding an access point isn't as simple as just looking for Wi-Fi 6 and buying the cheapest one. You definitely have to look at all the specifications for the different access points and find the ones that meet your situation. Well, that's it for today. Hope you found this helpful, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. And a special thank you to all my supporters who, without your support, this channel would not be possible. And if you haven't already, please think about supporting the channel you love. Thank you.